Mixers are virtually everywhere in every synthesizer. At a minimum, there will be an audio mixer between the sound sources, VCOs, noise, etc., and the filter. On the Mini Moog, the classic subtractive synthesis instrument, the mixer is the centerpiece of the front panel. Mixers don't usually modify sound, they just allow us to combine sound sources or control voltages. They are utility modules, not exotic or dramatic sound modification modules. Still, they are so important that they represent a fifth of the modules in the System 55. That's a higher percentage than any other type of module. This video will look at the many mixers of the Moog Modular System 55. Of course, we'll be using the Behringer version of this design since my budget was about 50 grand short when I purchased my System 55. We'll look at active mixers, passive mixers, and related attenuator modules. For active mixers, we have the CP3A mixer, which is a basic four to one mixer with master volume and multiples. It's used for CV or audio. The CP3AO oscillator controller is a four to one precision CV mixer with mute switches and there's only one attenuator. The rest of the CVs are summed without attenuation. It can be used for CV or audio. Also, the 992 control voltages is the same as a CPA3, but it's generic. In this case, it's for the filter control voltages. Most voltage control modules also have multiple CV inputs for the same parameter, uh, VCO frequency, VCF cutoff frequency, VCA gain. On the VCO, we've got two inputs into the oscillator driver. On the filter, we have three control voltage inputs. On the VCA, we have three control voltage inputs. A passive mixer combines signals with no powered circuitry. The jacks are just directly wired together. A multiple can be used as a passive mixer. The main functional difference between active and passive mixers is that passive mixers create an average of the input signals. An active mixer creates an arithmetic sum of the input signals. For example, if you combine two 5 volt peak to peak audio signals with a passive mixer, the output will be 5 volts peak to peak, the average of the two inputs. For an active mixer, the output would be a sum or 10 volts peak to peak. We'll take a look at that on the oscilloscope. This is a simple example of mixing two waveforms with an active mixer. I'm going to use this oscillator with the triangle and sawtooth outputs. I'm going to use this mixer and the output of the mixer is going to a VCA which is coming back into this multiple going to an oscilloscope and the audio output. So first we'll connect the sawtooth output to channel one of the mixer. You can see the sawtooth output here in the top row of the oscilloscope and we'll press a key you'll be able to see it on the bottom and hear it. Note that the volumes are the same on the two waves. Now let's turn down that first input, connect the triangle output, put it into input three, and I'll play a note and then turn up the volume. Now watch what happens when I add in the sawtooth. 
not only does the wave shape change, but the amplitude is greater because they're being arithmetically summed. Now let's passively mix these waveforms. We're going to take the sawtooth output and put it into the first attenuator. And then we'll have to get our output not from the active mixer, but from this passive multiple here that's taking the outputs of the two attenuators. So let's listen to that sawtooth and look at it on the scope. Next, let's take the triangle and put it into an attenuator and we're going to listen to both of those together. So the two waves are getting averaged, not arithmetically summed. And although this is a crude way to do it, it's a way to passively mix multiple waveforms. And let's just play around with some different mixes. So that's an interesting way to combine waveforms without using an active mixer. Attenuators are what I consider mixer-related companion modules. We have the 995 attenuators module with three attenuators, and we have the CP35 attenuators, which also include multiples and some fixed DC voltages. Mixer related uses of passive attenuators include using a passive attenuator for mixer output. For instance, if you were to use this mixer as an audio mixer, you could take the output and route it through a passive attenuator and you would have an output level that you could adjust. You could also use passive attenuators for the CP3A-0 and 992 inputs or any other CV or audio input to a built-in mixer. So we've only got one attenuator. If you wanted to attenuate some of the other three signals in the CP3A-0, you could use an attenuator to passively attenuate you could use a passive attenuator for a multiple acting as a passive mixer. For instance, you could take the waveform outputs, pass them through attenuators, and then sum them passively and take the output, and you'd have a passive mix of the three waveforms. So that's an overview of the mixers on the Behringer System 55. And you can see that most of these modules in this section are or could be mixers. I hope this video had some helpful information for you. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments.